Hey peeps, we are back. We are talking the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, season 11, episode six. Listen, you guys, I am so close to a thousand subscribers. Do me the honors of subscribing to my channel, hitting the thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can always be notified when I post new content. Now on to the show. So this episode picks off right where the last episode ended with Erica showing up to Sutton's Parisian lunch party that she was having at her house. Okay, that she's renting from Kyle, but it's still her house, okay. So the ladies head in for lunch and everyone realizes just how gorgeous this place is. Sutton has set this up beautifully and Lisa Renna makes the comment, are there place cards? Uh, Lisa Renna, whose party are you at? You know that if this is a sudden party, there are place cards. However, Kathy Hilton can't seem to find hers because she cannot see. Woman, if you don't go get some new glasses or the LASIK, what is wrong? Pretty soon they're gonna have to give you a CNI dog. You are doing way too much. And then we just gonna move past all the other silliness and get right into this Erica situation. Garcelle brings up that Sutton has a new car. And Erica says that she has a new car as well. She has a Range Rover. So apparently she's had to trade in the Lamborghini and now she has a Range Rover, which is still a quite beautiful, expensive car. It isn't as if she said, oh, well, I had to give up the Lambo so I can get the new Toyota Camry. I mean, <laughs> it's still expensive. I'm just saying. I let go of my Lamborghini. I let go of my 16,000 square foot home. I let go of my marriage. I let go of everything. I literally made a decision that um, I had to. He pushed me further and further out. The conversations that I used to have were now reduced down to a sentence or two. Now listen, some of the stuff she said, I believe. Most of it, not so much, not so much. Um, I really don't think that she left Tom due to their differences, due to his attitude and his behavior and due to her feeling as if he had all the control in the marriage. Do I think that he had all the control in the marriage? Absolutely. And it's so weird because in my notes, I brought up his behavior the first season they were on the show. And then later in the show, they provided the clip. And I said, oh, this is perfect. I don't have to go digging for it. But anyway, I think the real reason that she separated from Tom and filed for a divorce, allegedly, this is only my opinion, this is all alleged, is to distance herself from the lawsuits that she knew was going to trickle down later. I think that her and Tom, allegedly, just my opinion, sat down and discussed these lawsuits that were going to be rolling in. I think they started this purposely so that she could be removed from these lawsuits. And unfortunately, it didn't work. She's still a part of all of these cases. And like I've said before, you're innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I'm hoping that she is absolutely innocent, but we don't know that yet. Things are not looking good for Erica and Tom or the, you know, the hustler and the housewife. I'm just saying. I do believe when she says that she didn't have a voice in that marriage. It has been said multiple times that he or she who holds the funds is in control. They hold the power. And I believe it in this relationship. Now, really good, stable relationships, it doesn't matter which spouse has all the money, everything is still equal. That's just, the same with, remember that one girl from, oh wow, what was her name? From the Real Housewives of Orange County. She was married to Jim. Was her name Alexis? All I keep on hearing in my head is Tamara calling her Jesus Jugs. That was so rude. Dear gosh, that was rude. Anyway, you see Jim made all the money. So Jim called all the shots. That happens sometimes. It won't be happening in my marriage. I don't even have a husband. But if I did, that won't be happening with us. She says that she filed for divorce on election day in the hopes that due to it being election day, people wouldn't even care. It would slide under the radar. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You are the Erica Jane, Erica Girardi, married to Mr. Aaron Brockovich's movie guy. 
no, it's, it's, it's going to be out there. She does make the statement that she was going to stay with him until he passed away. And you know, I truly believe that. But the feds have a way of breaking people up. I mean, it's true, right? Oh, I'm being mean. I'm going to move on. She lets the girls know that they are all invited to her new tiny home. She said that. I didn't say it. And she does let them know that she took some of the furniture. And I said, oh, don't say it. The feds are watching. Okay? They are already after her, allegedly, for any of her items. They want to allegedly sell all these items to give the money back to the victims. Allegedly. I know I've said alleged probably eight times, but uh -uh, I'm not trying to get sued. Okay, anyway, moving on. She comes back to clarify that she only took two chairs and a sofa. Mm-hmm, right. I would just like to know who is buying that. Okay, not me. I don't think you took just two chairs and a sofa, allegedly. That's just my opinion. So they go outside to have dessert, which is something called opera cake. Well, I looked it up because it looked really delicious. It looked a little too technical for me to try to make though. It's some kind of sponge cake with a bunch of cream in the middle and everything like that. It's something that you can compare to tiramisu. I like a little tiramisu, but I don't make it. No, I, I, I buy that. Anyway, I thought it was really cute because each piece of cake had the girl's name written on it. Well, not written, you know, it was an icing. The pastry person did it. Anyway, it was really pretty. Kyle and Dorit decide they need to have another stale conversation about what happened on the flight. Personally, get over it. Move on. Okay, move on. Dorit talks too much and you interrupted too much. So anyway, they both agreed that going forward, they would respect each other's feelings. And then they hugged it out. And I said, okay, grow up and move on. It's ridiculous. You know, Kathy and Erica and the girls sat around and talked a little bit. And Erica did say that it was okay leaving the house. You know, she was Tom's third wife that's been living in that house. And she didn't think that Tom would ever leave that house. She said he's absolutely not going to leave. You know, well, you know, Tom may not have wanted to leave. But the Fed said, get out. The place is up for sale, allegedly. I'm just saying, I don't even know, but that's what the outlets are reporting, that they have put Tom out of the house and Tom is now living with his brother and his brother has conservatorship over Tom. That's what I got from the Housewife and the Hustler documentary, allegedly. I don't know how many more times I can say alleged, but I tell you what, I'll be saying it. I'm not trying to get sued. Okay, I'm trying to hold on to what I got. And I don't think that's a lot. But anyway, moving on. Dorit tells Kyle the whole situation with Sutton and Crystal and the coat and the naked situation. And, you know, you guys, a couple of videos back or whatever, when Sutton was acting really ridiculous in Tahoe, I was so team Crystal. But right now, I just want to say, uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Crystal, you are doing too much. They showed it on the show, and I remembered you told Sutton that you weren't going to be talking about this with the girls, and you just continued to talk about it. Ma'am, this is ridiculous. And then using the words that you used to describe this situation went below the belt, if you ask me. I would hate for something to be made of something that's absolutely nothing to be made of. You know, Kyle is absolutely right. Crystal needs to back down, back away from this. You are making this way bigger than it needs to be. There was absolutely nothing malicious or vicious about this. Sutton and Crystal talked in Tahoe. Sutton apologized to her sincerely, and she acted as if she accepted Sutton's apology and her excuse for what was going on. It was an extremely awkward moment, and I do feel bad for Crystal, and I feel bad that she feels violated, but to accept this woman's apology and then go around and tell the rest of the group that you were violated seems to cross the line to me. Leave Sutton alone. She is a little kooky and odd, and sometimes she acts you know, to quote Archie Bunker, like a dingbat. But, you know, leave her alone.
Garcelle meets up with a dating coach, yada, 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 honey. She is looking for the love of her life. And you know what? So am I, but I'm not about to hire a dating coach. I know what's wrong with me. I don't need to pay somebody to tell me. I'm just saying. By the way, people listen. I'm single right now. Okay, so I'm dating, but I'm single right now. And um, I'm looking for a husband. Everybody who has the opportunity, throw up a few prayers. You know, see if you can find me a husband, okay? A real nice one. You know, he does not have to be rich. Pray for my man the same way you would pray for your daughter a man. You know what I mean? Give me something good. Okay, so moving on, moving on. I'm sorry. Oh my God, I have no idea what just happened. Moving on, I'm, I'm promise. Okay, so then we get a chance to see Erica's new rental house, as she calls it, her tiny house. And from what I get from the blogs, allegedly she rented this place during filming. And after that, she moved into an even smaller um, place, you know, to save money, which is totally understandable. And, you know, I get it. She also says that she dropped Tom off at work and then she went home and moved out of his house while he was at work without saying a word. I don't think I believe that. You know what I mean? Maybe she did, but I think this might have been part of the whole plan that I alleged. Anyway, moving on. So they did show that her old house was 16,000 square feet, four bedrooms and nine bathrooms. Her new place is actually smaller than my house, which I was really shocked by. Um, her new place is 2,015 square feet, three bedrooms and two baths. And she has decided that she's gonna use one of her guest rooms to be her closet, all those racks and racks of clothes. And the second guest room is going to be used for all of her accessories and shoes. And she was saying that she doesn't know how they're going to get all that stuff in those rooms. I don't either, but I did hear allegedly, oh my God, that the feds want all the clothes, all the shoes, all the accessories to pay back the alleged victims, allegedly. And so, girl, mm -mm, I, I would have had an empty house. They would have all had to come over and sit on the floor. Anyway. <laughs> For dinner. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm late. I was in traffic. And one of them said, well, if you were married to a better man, uh, traffic would be no problem. And Tom straight looked at him across the table and said, well, if you think you can afford her, you can have her. Well, damn. But you know, that's all I got. Damn, you know, I can be petty. You know, personally, I would have read him for filth right there at the table in front of him and all of his powerful business friends and most likely their wives as well or side chicks, whoever. I would have told Tom, clean the hell off. And then the next day when Tom got a ride to work, because I'm not dropping him off. No, sir get a uber when tom was dropped off to work that's when i'd have packed up and left buddy bye i'm not gonna disrespect me at this table oh my gosh this is why i don't have a husband anyway why y'all praying for my husband pray for me and my attitude problem she says that she always felt that she had to shut up and just be grateful because tom had taken her from rags pretty much to riches and you know what i totally get that even me right now you know, I have a really good job and I take care of myself. But if some rich man with $80 million decided that he wanted to take care of me and take me away from all this, <laughs> all this, that's hilarious. But you know what I mean? Take me away from all this. I would feel that I need to be grateful too. Now, I don't know if I could shut up though. This is Pia Talks for a reason. I can't stop talking. Anyway, I'm gonna move on. Then I just got really ticked off with the show. Kyle talks sudden into going to get her mammogram. And first of all, I was really ticked off that this woman has never had a mammogram before. Lady, cut the crap. Every woman knows after the age of 40, you're supposed to get a mammogram. Ladies, please get your mammograms. I'm serious. Take care of yourself. If you're not here, who's gonna take care of your kids and your husband and your family? Girls, get out there and get your mammograms. I'm serious. She's in there getting her mammogram and she is throwing this real dramatic fit. Oh my God, the machine is putting me mad. Oh my God, is it gonna hurt? Oh my God. I mean, 
it, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Then when she comes out, she can't even sit quietly and wait for the results from the daggone physicians. Just as a yes or no, just tell me yes or no. You guys are looking too serious. I can't take it. I mean, really? And this is why Crystal thinks you're crazy. I'm just saying. Well, Kyle lets her know that Crystal shared everything about the jacket, the nakedness, the violation with Dorit. And Sutton is rightfully upset. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? This is ridiculous. I nip it! Nip it in the bud! Oh my gosh, I used to love the Andy Griffin show. Anyway, uh uh. Ernest T. Bass. Howdy do to you and you. It's me, it's me, it's Ernest T. He was my favorite. Okay, moving on, moving on. I haven't even had any caffeine. What is going on with me? I need a nap. So she says that she's going to talk to Crystal about this. And absolutely, I would too. And no, ma'am. Erica goes out for drinks with Lisa Renna. Lisa Renna will be the last person I would share any of my information with. But anyway, she gets her a hot toddy and I looked at that drink and it did look delicious. I tell you what, next time I'm out somewhere, I'm going to order one of them. Anyway, what about old. my web? Excuse me. You're Pardon right. me. I think I'm right. talking right now. I'm running the operation, baby. No, sh Pardon me, Erica. See, see, I was thinking of that scene and I was going to look up the clip, but I didn't have to because they threw it in the show. And I absolutely agree with Lisa and Erica. Tom was in charge. Tom was rude and disrespectful. I remember that scene because he was disrespectful to Lisa Vanderpump. And you know what? Ken was sitting there looking as if he was on 10. And you know what? I need my husband to be on 100 when some man tries to cut me off. <laughs> Say something. Don't you just sit there staring at him anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Tom was a mess. I'm just saying Tom would have got dealt with don't play with me play with your mammy okay so moving on <laughs> what is going on with me this evening so she tells lisa the story that she drove him to work she told him that she loved him and he says thanks hon and she said as if she was an employee you know that's bad when you get to that stage in your marriage where you say i love you and they say thanks hon <laughs> it's over you know, so it was at that point that she, you know, went home and packed up the place, but she only took the two chairs and a sofa. Lies, allegedly. She does allude to twice in the episode that there's some other legal battles that he's going to have coming. And I said, mm -hmm, girl, you trying to get them warmed up for when the truth splashes across all the outlets. Anyway. So all the ladies gather together at Crystal's house. She's gonna be teaching them how to make dumplings. Now look, the dumplings did look delicious, but it just looked as if it was too much work. I don't have time for all that slicing and dicing. I will just order some dumplings and have the Uber Eats people bring them over. Uh-uh, I'm not doing all that. That's probably why I don't have a husband. I cook other stuff though, I really do. And I'm not bad at it either. One of my friends said that I should start cooking on my YouTube channel, but I, I don't have time for all that. Anyway, what, are, what is going on? I might need a checkup. Maybe I have ADHD. I don't know. Anyway, let's just go on about our business. One thing that really makes me laugh is when all the ladies show up at Sutton's house to make dumplings and they are wearing sky high heels. They are dressed, dressed. I said, well, what? You people can't even wear jeans to make dumplings? Erica lets them know that Kyle gave her some kind of THC oil for the vagina and she used it and now she is on fire. She is having a really great experience. And Garcelle says, well, how can I get some? And I second that. Say the name of the product. You know, help a sister out. Anyway, moving on. Erica did say that she was going to wait 90 days before having the sex. I said, well, thank you for the information. I don't care. Sutton and Crystal have a little sit down and Sutton approaches her about talking about the situation. And Crystal said, well, I know we said we weren't gonna talk about it, but people asked me, well, so what? 
People can ask you and you can say, I prefer not to talk about it, but you continue to talk about it. Crystal, you just crossed the line here. Let it go, move on. Sudden, when they get out with the rest of the girls, she brings it up and she lets everybody know what happened. She's not a creepy person. She's not trying to purposely violate Crystal and she doesn't appreciate it. She doesn't appreciate that word being slung around. She also let Crystal know that she is not crazy or manic, but you know, I'm sorry, Sutton. Uh, I was team Crystal. You were acting real crazy, real crazy in Tahoe. It was very clear that something was not right. So I understand, you know, however Sutton did get Dorit all the way together. She said, I don't understand why you have your paws in this conversation. I said the paws, okay. Anyway, Dorit was trying to get involved in something that has nothing to do with her and Sutton kind of knocked the wind right out of her sails. Be quiet, honey. You look cute though. Then they go in and they make these dumplings. They look delicious. The ladies all said they were delicious. But as I said earlier, they looked like too much work. And I, I, I just call somebody or make them for us, Crystal, we'll all come over and eat them, but you know. Anyway, Crystal had nice little plates with their names on it. They had aprons with their names on it. It was very cute. You could tell that she- I spent no expense. It was lovely, but um, yeah, I can't make any dumplings. No. Um, it was a decent show tonight. It really was. It gave us a little bit of insight into Erica and Tom's situation. I'm just waiting for all the lawsuit stuff to fall out and see how the ladies react to that. Next time I talk to you guys, I, I, I'm going to be calm. I don't know what's going on with me this evening. I've acted as if I had a hot toddy. I don't understand it at all. But until next time, bye.